All right, so I just wanted to show you a little bit about how to fix some data in Training Peaks. So I brought up one of my athletes' data, and you can see like some of their data just is messed up. So I can tell it's messed up, firstly, because I know this athlete, and uh, secondly, I can just scroll across and see some of their peak heart rate data. So I know that um, this athlete is able to maintain something like... Well, that's probably bad data too. So something like 172 beats per minute for uh, 30 minutes. And that's probably about right. But then when I look at this data up here, his six minute record is 200 beats per minute for six minutes. And I know that's actually just not that possible for him. So what I want to be able to do is get rid of this from his training peaks account so that it doesn't affect the numbers that we see in his CTL charts and in his peak records. So what I'm about to show you, you can do for heart rate and also for power. So it's actually pretty simple. So let's just get into it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just kind of click on this record and that'll show me a little bit more about this. So here it is. So 211 beats per minute for five seconds, which is just not right. So let's get in there and look a little closer. Okay, so you can see how he, uh, this rider went up the climb. We have power, uh, which we can show and hide. Um, so oh, that's, that's just um, balance. Show this one. Okay, and then we just have his power. And that looks pretty good. And you can see he's going up the climb and it was pretty easy, able to maintain a pretty good power output at a pretty low heart rate. And that was the aim of this ride. So it was one big climb, one big descent. But then we have this massive spike where he was maintaining over 200 beats per minute. So I wanna be able to get rid of that. So we know, cause I, I talked to him and um, we talked about this data. He left a comment in the ride that said bad heart rate data. And we talked about it and he was wearing a vest and I see this happening a lot. So when riders are wearing a vest, they get to the top of a climb. Maybe they put the vest on or something just as they're about to descend and all the extra wind flapping around with the vest causes um, spikes in the heart rate data using a chest strap. So we just want to be able to get rid of that because it's super common and training peaks doesn't know it's bad data. It's just thinking he's going really hard and uh, that's what training peaks is designed to do. So we just want to be able to fix that. So we can highlight it, we can zoom, and one thing you could do is cut it, but if you cut it, you get rid of the power data. And sometimes you might actually want the power data because it's actually still good. So we don't wanna cut it and delete it. So let's just unzoom, keep, keep that highlighted. And very simply, you just go up here where it says BPM and you see that button that says fix. All you do is fix it. So after you click fix, this confirmation will pop up. Are you sure you want to do this? Like this is going to be deleted forever and it will be deleted forever. So maybe you have a backup or something in case you accidentally uh, delete something you don't want to delete, which is always a, a good idea because Training Peaks isn't exactly designed to store your data for you forever without you backing it up. So it's always good to have a bit of a backup, but this says, are you sure you want to do this? this is it going to be gone forever? Yep, I want to do that. So I'll click fix. And you can see now that massive spike is gone. So his highest heart rate is somewhere around 186, which might actually be a wind kind of error as well, but I'll just leave it for now, see what happens. Click apply. And there it is. So you can see like where that heart rate was normal and low. I basically just drew a straight line between where I cut. So um, this is no longer horrible data and it's removed itself from the maximums that we can see uh, here in our workout summary. So you can go back and you can do this in every single workout. Then when you go back to your dashboard, you can refresh all of your charts and all of your CTL and all your training load and everything like that will be changed and you'll be good to go. So if you liked that video, uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos. I do lots of mountain bike analysis, especially looking at power, uh, other kinds of physiology, heart rate, and braking data. So check those out and uh, we'll have more for you soon.